Hi, and welcome to our exercise.com channel. In this video, we are talking about exercises you can do at work, specifically 10 easy exercises. You can fit most of these in during your lunch break or a 10 minute break. And these come to you from Gary Miller of garagegymplanner.com. He com compiled these for us at exercise.com. Now the key with working out at work is to be creative. You do not need to run out and buy a bunch of equipment, although there is plenty of easy equipment that you can get for your office, such as resistance bands or jump ropes, exercise mats, foam rollers, stuff like that. You do not need to get anything like that. When you're working out at work, be creative. You can use bottles, heavy files, paperweights, your laptop, even a big stack of papers. Anything you find really can be used as equipment. It's all about being innovative and quirky when you're working out at work. So we're going to give you 10 great tips for working out at work. Um, and we'd love to know, though, in the comments, how do you work out at work? So let us know what your best tip is for working out at work, um, especially if it's different from anything that we're going to tell you today. But why bother? Why bother working out at the office? Um, well, we have a bunch of benefits here, um, not the least of which being it just keeps your brain active and keeps you energized and refreshed with adrenaline, helps you stay awake, things like that. Some of us struggle with snacking at work. Sometimes when we're just sitting, we like to eat, so it helps burn extra calories and things like that. Um, but it also helps you get a good night's sleep when you're home from the office and helps you start the next day. Um, so all these benefits, it's great for you, helps you live a total body, healthier lifestyle. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started on our 10 uh, great exercises to do at the office. So the first one is push-ups. Now, obviously, you need a little bit of floor space if you're going to do them on the floor, but you can do them pretty much anywhere. You can do push-ups against a desk, a table, or even the walls. Um, and push-ups are pretty basic. And if you're a beginner... Having a little bit of support when you do a push-up is a good idea. Pull-ups. Now, if you're going to do pull-ups, obviously find a sturdy bar, a pillar, or an extension from a wall before you get started. Make sure that whatever you're doing a pull-up on is secure. You don't need any injuries from falling off of something. Um, and if you strength, strengthen if, or if you tighten and squeeze your core while you're doing pull-ups, then you get a side-by-side -side ab workout as well. Tricep curls. These are really easy. Uh, you might say, wait, I don't have any dumbbells. Remember, you don't need dumbbells. You just need to be a little bit innovative. Take a water bottle and voila, you've got a lightweight dumbbell to work with. You can do tricep curls anywhere as long as you've just got something with a little weight in it to work with. Planks. Planks are fun to do at work um, and they're great for uh, tightening your core. All you need is about two minutes of uninterrupted time. Surely everybody can find two minutes of uninterrupted time at work. You need a little bit of uh, floor space or ground space. And they're fun to do at work because you and your coworkers probably have a little bit of healthy competition, spirit of competition going on. So it's fun to get your coworkers involved and um, have a little plank fest. Touching your toes. This is one of my favorites to do. This is a great stretch. You stretch all the way up to the ceiling and then all the way down to your toes. Just bend forward as far as you can. You might not actually make it to your toes at first, but it's great just for opening up your airways, stretching out your spine. It's amazing how much this simple exercise makes you feel more awake and alive, honestly, um, especially when you're starting to lag and drag at your desk. Number six, taking the stairs. No matter what you do, when it comes to exercising, cardio will always be your best friend. So skip the elevator, take the stairs if you have any stairs in your building. Calf raises. Calf raises are another highly versatile exercise. You can do calf raises basically anywhere. Um, and It doesn't take any space to do them, and it doesn't require any weight. All you have to do is put your feet together, get your whole body up on your toes, Stay there for about two seconds and then lower yourself slowly back to the ground. Do about 30 to 40 calf raises 
until you feel your calf muscles uh, have truly been worked out. Now, if you want a variation on calf raises, all you have to do is go and find a step. So go into the stairwell of your building, make sure you hold onto the railing and put your toes on the step and uh, raise and lower yourself um, up and down on the edge of the step. And I'm gonna show you a video variation of that in just a few minutes here. Chest presses. Now this is one that if you're looking to switch things up and do something really effective, you might wanna have a little bit of equipment in your office. Suspension trainers are a great thing to have so you can do some chest presses. Chair dips. Chair dips are great to do. Just make sure that you are not doing chair dips on a chair that has wheels and can rotate or you'll most likely fall out on the floor and you might hurt yourself. So only do chair dips on a chair that is, uh, has, has four legs. Um, make sure that you're using your elbows and forearms for support as you're doing these as well. Proper form is good there. And then side lunges. Um, side lunges might be a little bit awkward to do, or regular lunges, sorry, might be a little bit awkward to do in office attire, so side lunges are a good variation. And remember to be creative when you're working in working out in the office. Okay, so I promised you a variation on, uh, an example of a variation on the calf raises, so we're gonna hop over to exercise.com. And on exercise.com, we have such a great platform here because basically anything you're looking for, we have almost 3,000 exercises loaded in here, and this is all free to take a look at all this. Um, anything you're looking for, whether it's calf raises or something else, we have demonstration videos for you. And more than that, we have details on those demonstration videos. So let's say you want to do a variation on a calf, calf raise. You can hop on over here, click on calves, or you can search for anything you're looking for. But I just clicked on calves. And then hover over here, you can see there's an option to view details. So I'm going to go in and view the details here. And there's a video to, that demonstrates how you do calf raises. Now he's doing it on an aerobic step, but you could do this again just on a regular step. And it also explains how you do elevated calf raises, which is what you do on a step, tips on how to do your calf raises, variations on the calf raises, diagrams on what you're working when you do calf raises. We have this for every single exercise we have loaded into exercise.com. Everything you could possibly want about any exercise is right on our site. It's so convenient. You can save these diagrams to Pinterest if you have a Pinterest page. Details on the calf raises. It's so convenient. And then I want to show you our plans. Because if you're someone who's really serious about getting in shape and staying in, in shape and having um, real change that lasts, you're probably going to want to go pro. Now on our website, you can, you can log workouts. Anybody can do that. But if you go pro, you get so much more, especially if um, you're reading this or you're watching this video because you're, you're someone who's looking for tips for working out in the office. But maybe you're thinking, man, I, I want more, but I just don't have that much time during the week. How could a pro plan benefit me? Well, if you don't have much time in the week, you could come over here and scan our plans and you say, well, we have plans like this one. This one is a 30 minute workout plan. You can go in here and view the details of what you get with a 30 minute workout plan. You say, well, I do have 30 minutes a day or something like that. And this one says um, four days per week. If you have 30 minutes, four days per week, this plan could benefit you. What you get with, with a plan like this is pre-made workout plans. Now these plans are made for you by certified personal trainers. Certified personal trainers with online workout training, online work, online workout tracking, excuse me, step-by-step -step video tutorials, advanced workout stats. This platform is unlike anything else you get anywhere. It gives you workout goals to work towards, what equipment you will need, diet plans, a great ask the trainer function, all these other details which of course are unlocked once you purchase. But I want to talk a little bit more about this ask a trainer function. I'm going to hop over to the pro membership page. Let's kind of look at all this here. The ask the trainer function, um, we have a great app that's on your phone. Now, obviously you can access this on your computer as well, but on your phone a lot of times when you're working out you're in the gym and so what you have with you is your phone. So on your phone, if you have a question through your app, you can access a certified personal trainer at any time. Just 
plug in your question and you're off and running and a certified personal trainer will get back to you with a response. The workout plans that are logged there, like I showed you the uh, 30 minutes a day workout plan, but there are over 300 workout plans that are available to you when you go pro. Um, and they come with all sorts of different benefits as well. You can also build your own workout plans. Let's say you work a strange schedule at work and you want to build your own workout plans to fit the schedule that you have once you're home, when you have availability to go to the gym, or if you have specific areas of the body that, that you want to work and you want input from a certified personal trainer, you can build your own plan and save it in your account um, under your pro access com account. All of these things are available to you along with those advanced workout stats and a great community of other people just like you. Uh, and, and the pro account is something that is also used by professional athletes. So if it's good enough for professional athletes, surely it would be good enough for pretty much anybody. So as you're thinking about workouts you can do for the office, um, also consider how our pro plan can benefit someone like you as well. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, share this video if it was uh, helpful for you and please comment and let us know how it is that you work out at work or anything else that you'd like to tell us about this video or office workout exercise tips. Thanks so much for watching.